Wastewater Dan presents Wastewater Math calculated with Excel spreadsheets. As a new service of ESDLT's Environmental Academy, environmentalacademy.com, today's example is to calculate detention time in minutes to pump through four tanks. So the problem reads, the volume in gallons of the four tanks is 10,358. The total waste stream in gallons per minute is 25, consisting of two GPM concentrated waste plus 23 GPM general waste. Calculate detention time in minutes to pump the total waste stream through all four tanks. So this is a detention time problem where the answer needs to be expressed in minutes. So basically what that means is that based on uh, this flowing waste stream we need to calculate the number of minutes required to pump the waste through all four tanks. In this case, all four tanks has a total volume of 10,358 gallons. This uh, waste stream is actually um, a stream from two waste sources. The concentrated waste source is two gallons per minute, two GPM, and the general waste stream, which is the second waste source, is 23 GPM, which is 23 gallons per minute. So the combined waste stream is the 25 gallons per minute, or 25 GPM. So those are the the 10,358 and the 25 are the two numbers needed to solve this problem. So let's look at the formula. The formula is detention time in minutes equals tanks volume in gallons divided by flow rate in minutes. Now it's important to understand that you you want to express your answer in minutes that's the time. So you need to insert your flow rate in the same time increment. So if we want our answer to be detention time in minutes, the flow rate that we enter into the formula will also be in minutes. So that's why we're going to use 23 plus 2, or 2 plus 23, um, which would be the same as 25 but because we were given the uh, flow rate of the two-way sources, I, I simply put the two-way sources in the formula uh, to, so that we can see how it, how it will work um, using the, the two individual waste streams. So let's slide on down and look at the problem as we solve it. So we got the example we got the data, we got the formula, we've shown it, how we're going to enter it into the Excel spreadsheet, and so now we see it in the spreadsheet. So if you want to enter this in your own spreadsheet, um, what you can do is just open up a blank worksheet, you can put your cursor uh, in cell A1, and you can come up to the formula bar and you can start typing in this formula. So you put in the equal sign, you put in the open parentheses, you put in the 10,358, you close the parentheses, you put in the division key, you put in the open parentheses, and then you put in the 2, the plus sign, the 23, and close the parentheses. Then you hit enter. And I have this cell A1 formatted as a number uh, with no uh, no decimal points, zero decimals, 
uh, and, and, and no commas checked so that I'll, I'll simply have whole numbers and then in the cell I've got it centered and I got it bold and that's where we see the answer as 414 minutes so that means that based on this 10,358 gallons in these four tanks with the flowing waste stream of 25 gallons per minute coming from two waste sources one stream the source of one stream uh, is 2 gallons per minute the source of the other stream is 23 gallons per minute and so the 25 gallons per minute would be the flow rate and uh, then we'd have uh, hit enter and that would be our answer 414 minutes Okay, so I only used about six minutes to answer this question I want to spend a little time uh, providing some additional explanation for someone who or anyone who would want to to listen so what I would like to do now is talk a little bit about the um, variations uh, with uh, detention time problems in many cases in my wastewater training I talk about and I train people how to calculate detention time in hours and how to calculate detention time in days oftentimes those are the two more common um, way of expressing detention time with our with our problems but in this particular example I'm using minutes so the first thing I want to let you know is depending on what your time increment of your answer needs to be um, in this case it's minutes um, the flow rate is entered into formula in the same time increment that makes it certain that if you have flow rate in minutes then your answer is going to be detention time in minutes. Now if your, de if your detention time answer needed to be in hours then you would enter your flow rate in hours. If your detention time answer needed to be in days you would enter your flow rate in days. And um, we're always going to use whole numbers and decimal equivalents uh, with, our, with our entries so that's the first thing I wanted to mention to you. The other thing, detention time problems uh, can have a very straightforward um, set of data presented to them, presented with the problem. In this case, uh, with gallons, uh, it was very straightforward. It's just whatever the number of gallons in the tank is. This could have been one tank. This could have been multiple tanks. In this case, it, it's multiple tanks. But you've got gallons. You've got total uh, volume in gallons. But many times, detention time problems do not give you the volume in gallons. Instead, they give you tank dimensions. And you have to take the tank dimensions, and you've got to calculate the gallons from the dimensions, and, and, and then enter the gallons into the formula. So in this case, it was very straightforward. It was it was specified, uh, but in other cases, you may have to calculate the gallons. So th those are the uh, two main things I wanted to point out in terms of uh, modifications to your uh, detention time problems. You set up the formulas. Now <clears throat> there is another way um, that we can express the answers and we can make the change in the time increment at the end of the problem instead of making the change as we enter the information into the formula. So for example if the answer needed to be say in hours and you set up the formula as minutes in this case 414 minutes if you if you needed to express that time in hours uh, then you just simply take this answer and you divide it by the number of minutes in an hour. In this case, you would divide it by 60. So 414 divided by 60 would be detention time in hours. If you needed to express this in days, then you would simply take the number of minutes in a day, which is 1440. So you take your answer, you divide by 1440, and that's going to give you your answer uh, in days. So that's the other type of 
modification, we can actually modify the answer at the end of the problem, or we can modify the formula uh, based on the time increment required of the problem. So hopefully this was uh, helpful. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you will uh, um, be encouraged to uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, I've got about uh, seven or eight uh, different wastewater math problems now on my YouTube channel, so you can look at the various uh, problems there. Uh, I also encourage you to uh, submit questions. Uh, ask me uh, how to calculate certain things. Uh, I'll be glad to incorporate them. Um, you can send me a question through my website. You can go through um, a search engine. Uh, you can go through LinkedIn group. Um, you can um, you can submit questions any way you like. Hopefully this is enjoyable, and um, this is um, this is signing off now for the calculate detention time problem.